And today, we are marking our fourth, I think. Could even be third. I'm not too sure how we're doing this. But whatever it is, it is the next battle in the sequence, which will eventually lead up to a finale of likes of which have never been seen on the channel. So last time, if you watched the previous one, we had our winner, which was the Blue Spinosaurus. I don't know what the blue Spinosaurus is doing. And what we said is, after every winner, you guys would get to nickname the dinosaur. So today, it has been nicknamed by Spino Dragon Productions. And they named it after, like, um, the Japanese for blue devil. Which apparently is Aoiku. I know I was blue. I'm guessing Aku <laughs> might be devil. Not too sure. And that brings our finalists up to four. It would have been five. Yet the blue devil killed the last one. So there's only four. Those are Sneak, Cheerio, Aoku, and now Bamboo. So what do we have in store this time? Well, this is the battle arena and it is filled with a plethora of new dinosaurs. Every time we do a battle evolution royale thing, whatever you want to call it, we add new mods to the game. Now, some are returning from previous ones and others are completely new. Some I'm very looking forward to seeing. Wait, what? There's no... Why do we not have the Megalania? One of the newest mods coming to Jurassic World Evolution 2, hot off the Nexus website, is the friggin' Megalania. And oh, oh, it looks so good. Look at this. Look at that, man. That looks awesome. I mean, I'm assuming it's it's like the Dimetrodon. They've done a few changes to it. But Megalania is, of course, not the only thing that we have got added into this game. But by Jove, does it look glorious. Oh, look at you sat there. Aren't you cute? Yes, very cute. Okay, let's see what else we have in store. Other new dinosaurs are this Megaraptor, which looks like something from Chaos Effect with that black to red contrasty color look. We've also got the Giga from the Warpath game, for which was in the last one, but you know, he's back again, because why not? We have the Tarchia, which is like an ankylosaur. Now, this is made by, I think it's two guys, and they have just like taken loads of models from, you know, Jurassic World Alive, and they've put it into this game. Or at least, you know, it's like a teaser. So I think we have Mortem Rex, we have Giganix, we have Indotaurus, but I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see them through, of course. Why are you exactly the same? Are you kidding me? You are completely randomized, and the Spinosaur we got, it's not the same, is it? Um... Sala del Huasco and Pulcherana, and the other one is Chaplin Vary and Lithobites. Oh, okay, no, you are different, but you you both got, like, blue heads on you. <laughs> what is going on there? That is so strange. All right, then. Well, we got another blue-headed Spino in this one. Oh, here we go. We've got the Hadrosaurus as well. And we also have the Columbia Mammoth is back. A very blue Camaro. So what was that from Land Before Time? Of course, the Tarvasaur from Camp Cretaceous is back. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, just fly to the sky there. Don't know how well it's really going to do here, but it's not the only Tarbosaur that exists in this battle arena. We also have Giganix, which I think is the hybrid between Giganotosaurus and I think it's like Spinerix or something. I don't know. It's like a three hybrid. Oh, hey, look! For the Brachiosaurus, we got the Jurassic Park 3 one. Oh, that's brilliant. There it is, the Alberta Spino being another Jurassic World Alive hybrid. But we actually have an official Utah Raptor. And my God, does it look gorgeous, completely feathered and everything. Love the colors on it. Look at those eyes. We get a lovely front shot. If it keeps its head. Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. We also have this guy, a Silosuchus. Which I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a carnivore, but it kind of looks similar to a Therizinosaurus. Although very reptilian looking. Must be similar to Baryonyx, or at least it looks like it is. This is another Tarbosaur. I don't know. We got this like Tarbosaur from Camp Cretaceous. Tarbosaur. And then there's Tarbosaur Batar. Now, let's see if we can find Batar. Oh, well, that wasn't hard, was it? There it is. <laughs> this one looks very similar to another Tarbosaur. I don't know if it was like a Walking with Dinosaurs one, but definitely from some sort of media with that coloring. I've definitely seen that before. It could even be the Tarbosaur from Planet Dinosaur. That might be it. Correct! 
Ah, there it is. Aeonoraptor as well. Or Aeonoraptor. I think this might be the one that's from Prime Evil. I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. Although it kind of gives that look with the uh, white and dark ratio. The white the white underbelly and the dark on the top. Another dinosaur in here to mix up the mini cup we will eventually see after a lot of the bigger dinosaurs are killed. Oh, also, can we just take a look at this Ceratosaurus? Like, my God, the colorings on this guy. It's amazing. I love it. Tethy Shadros in again here with its beautiful markings, beautiful model, but I'm not expecting it to last long. Oh, wait, what are you? Whoa! Oh, you're the other Mega Raptor. Damn! Looking gorgeous. We got, we had some, like, absolutely beautiful mods come out for this game. And I'm very, very interested to see who's going to be the winner of this. Because not only do we have so many amazing dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2, but with these mods... Oh, God, it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, oh, yeah, we got Irritator. Irritator's back as well. There it is. We've got a lovely dark and brooding uh, Montosaurus there. What, what color is that? Whoa, Majungasaurus looking really cool with that skin. One of those dinosaurs I'll, I'll see like once in the battle and then it'll just be dead. It'll be killed by something. Oh, okay. That's what happened to that. <laughs> oh, Dilophosaurus being the bigger one with the bigger head crest. Love to see it. Very similar to the previous battle one. What is going on? An Indotaurus looking gorgeous walking on two legs. The bipedal form we were promised from the concept art, art, art of Indotaurus. When eventually we got it, it was walking on all fours like Indoraptor. And it was like, oh cool <laughs> but here it is in all of its glory bipedal and everything oh yeah i completely forgot about this guy we have micro Ceratus making its final debut as a mod in jurassic world evolution 2 maybe someday we'll see it in an official dlc but for now at least we have you know a stand-in of sorts. <laughs> and there you go, a T-Rex as well. Very similar to the Tarbosaur, but ah, uh, markings. Maybe it's trying to fit in here, going under the radar. Oh, damn, what happened to that Herarosaurus? It's straight out of the 90s. It could be playing with Barney. And you look exactly like Ceratosaurus as well. Damn, we got some really nice colorings in this. Can't wait to see them all die. And with that being said, our contestants all ready to rumble. Who do you think is going to win? Let's find out. Who will be our first casualty? In fa oh, my. Indator what? Indotaurus? Indominus has started to hunt what? Oh, no. It's the Apatosaurus. Canonically correct. Indotaurus. Indotaurus. Indominus Rex goes for Apatosaurus. Oh, here we go. We got more fights. Oh, oh, an instant kill. Deinonychus dies. Or Deinonychus dies. Hurrarosaurus. We got Alberta Spino. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, it hunt down this sticky. I was going to say, is it going to die already? To what? Mortem Rex taking on Changesaurus. And it looks like Mortem Rex might be winning that one. Oh, Tarbosaurus Batar killed by the Giga. And Kylosaurus against Allosaurus. Uh, we don't know who's going to win this one. But, oh, it looks like Albertosaurus. Sorry, Allosaurus is going to win that one. I am a uh, to pot with the names, apparently. Scorpius Rex has just hunted down Monolophosaurus and now is switching target to take down the Apatosaurus, working in tandem there with the Indominus Rex. Sukumam is taking on a little bit of a challenge from a Nozutoceratops, but I'm expecting Nozutoceratops to not really stand much of a chance. And was that a Morgasaur killed by Indominus Rex? On completely standard there. Indominus Rex killing the sauropods. Alberta Spino going for the smaller ones, killing an Archeonithomimus. We've also got a Taurosaur taking on... Wait, what are you, Tyranna Titan? Yeah, I forgot. We didn't even see that guy, Tyranna Titan. Who knows how that one's going to go, but I'm expecting Tyranna Titan to probably win that. Oh, Dimetrodon taking on Metricanthosaurus. And it'll be really interesting to see how this one goes. Please tell me that it's going to stand somewhat of a chance. No! Dimetrodon taking down Spinosaurus taking on Alberta Spino. Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. I want to see this one. Very rare we see... Oh! Oh, they're calling it off. Looks like Spino might have won that one, though. Indo... Oh! Indominus Rex taking down Nigesaurus. And this is Indoraptor is hunting the driest. Oh, bless it. It doesn't even know that death's approaching, but it survives. Somehow it got bored or ran out of stamina or something like that. Min me there. There's another danger that it is. Oh, God. We got Alberta Spino taking down the mammoth, I think. 
only to, it's trying to do something like that. We got Sinoceratops killed by Thovenade, a fish eater. And we, oh, oh, the Tarbosaur killed by Giga. That's Giga who's killed two of the Tarbosaurs. Megalania here is still in the runnings. I want that guy to win, man. My money is on Megalania. <laughs> I don't even know if we can have a fight against Indominus Rex. And even if it can, can it even kill him? Alberta Spino on 62%, but taking down the Colombian Mammoth there. Therizinosaurus didn't do too well last time. I think it was one shot by something. Not too sure what it was, but I remember it being disappointing. Oh yeah, we've also got this guy. We've got the Drepanosaurus, which is a very odd creature. Oh, was it Acrocanthosaurus? Oh, we got the Dinocyrus or Dinocerus or Dinocerus or something. And has it killed it? Did it? Did it just kill Acrocanthosaurus, or did, was this just a fight? I have no idea. Indominus Rex now taking on Diplodocus. We're, we're seeing what we see all the time with this guy, and that is the slow extinction of all the giant sauropods because, well, apparently they're the ones that seem to go for it. Anything with Indominus Rex in its name or in its blood just seems to favor killing all of this. Oh, what's this? Mord Rex is being killed by S Spinosaurus? Oh, it was Scorpius Rex killed Mortem Rex. Wow, okay. Well, they have a Herarasaur taking on the Allosaur. Not seeing this going very well for Herarasaurus. And, and well, there you have it. Uh, beautiful coloring. I can't knock it for that. But uh, yeah, didn't stand much for this. I can't be still going. Look at it go. Gorgeous. Oh, Indotaurus doing something weird with... Uh, I don't even know what that is. Some sort of giant sauropod. Ceratosaurus against Tyranno Titan. Is it going to hold its own with 30... Ooh, wait, how much? 61% it actually is. Will we see it finally in the final? We have Indominus Rex taking on Tarbosaur from Camp Cretaceous. And a raptor just running around there. <laughs> oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. All of the oohs. Was that a, was that a kill or was that just a little dance? Uh, I saw the markings go up on Tarbosaur. But are they... Oh, oh, it, it's going back in. And another dance. Uh, all both looking kind of injured. And Indominus Rex is the one to run away. Very interesting. Oh, we have Uteranus here as well. There's so many. I haven't even seen this. Like Chilantosaurus as well here, I think. Sukamimus against Uteranus. It would be amazing to see either of those near the end of the battle. And uh, we've also got a Baryonyx. And I think that is a named character. It is Chaos. Wow, that is quite interesting. Out of all the combinations it could have been, it chose to be a canonical soft cannon character from, what you call it, Camp Cretaceous. Uh, not too sure what this guy's going for. I think he's trying to take down the Sinsatosaurus, and there it goes! Contorting it into the ground! God, you've got to love these mods. <laughs> oh no, the Jurassic Park 3 Brachiosaur being killed by the beautiful turquoise head of the Indominus Rex. You know, if you're gonna go out, you might as well go down with style. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. He's uh, not leaving you alone there, is it? Oh, hold on! Megalania taking on Hyungasaurus. Oh, I've got it. Oh, Chunkingosaurus. I've got to see this. Here it is. It's like the mini cup. Oh, I didn't even know these two could fight. Oh, I think the Megalania killed it. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, look at him run. Look at it, a beautiful giant lizard from prehistoric Australia. An Aeonoraptor also there, but it's won its first battle. Yes, come on. <laughs> it's like the World Cup. Uh, and I'm rooting for the underdog, but it's definitely not going to win. Unless, unless, you never can tell. Struthiomimus has survived longer than freaking Mortem Rex did. Anything is possible in this battle arena. I mean, Chalantosaurus kind of has that werewolf look going on about it, but apparently... Uh, oh no, Min Me! Did it just get stepped on? <laughs> oh, bless it. One day, Min Me will take down Indominus Rex and it will be glorious. One day, not today. Spinosaurus still thriving here, chasing off the Tarbosaurus. Oh, look at it! We've still got the giant Dino Kyrus here. This is brilliant. 100% health. Oh, we've got Woohoosaurus against Allosaurus. And uh, well, there goes that. But also in the back, we have, oh, is it Megalosaurus against Baronix? And it looks like Baronix won. Utahraptor, has it made a kill? Probably not at the moment. We've also got, oh, Giganix against Ceratosaurus. And it's won it. Oh, you never can tell a legendary 
hybrid from Jurassic World Alive. Will that make a difference? Does class mean anything in this game? Do I even know what I'm saying? No, not really. We got a battle between Car Coward and Dinosaurus and Dino Chirus here. I'm going to say it different every time because I don't know how it's pronounced. The giant crazy white eyes. And did anybody win that? No, they just kind of all walked away from each other. Very interesting. Car, ooh, Carnotaur is killed by Acro and the Saurus. Two dinosaurs I've barely seen any of. And they are down. Oh, we got a T-Rex on 54%. So it's definitely been in a battle with something. Indotaurus against Hyungasaur. And we could all guess how that one went. Yep, Indotaurus definitely won that one. Pro Ceratosaurus still surviving. How else is it? Let's have a roll call. What else is dead? Carbosaur, yeah. Oh, Malocephalae hunted down by the green Indoraptor. Iguanodon killed by Indoraptor as well. What a pose. Giga, you look amazing there. Beautiful. <laughs> what else do we have here? We have the dead Alberta Spino. Oh, Alberta Spino was killed by Spinosaurus. Oh, I was kind of interested to see how this one would go. Oh, whoa. Mega Raptor against Ichthovenator. Two modern dinosaurs fighting over the dead body of another Mega Raptor. Can Ichthovenator kill this one? I don't even know how that one died, but they're calling it off. So who killed this one? Baryonyx killed the Mega Raptor. Wow. Oh, Indoraptor taking down a modded Ugurulachosaurus. <laughs> and is a Triceratops against Changesaurus. And I think Changesaurus is going to win this one. Will there be any herbivore in the end? I don't even think so. We don't even have Stegoceratops or anything here. We've got a Parasaur being killed by Indoraptor. Yep, slowly the herbivores are now being hunted down. Triceratops managed to win, or at least survive its battle. And Kylosaur hitting the side of Sukumimus here. I mean, I really feel like Ankylosaur would uh, win this fight, but uh, looks like Sukumimus actually won that one. Oh, is that in Montosaurus? Indominus Rex killed the Monosaurus. Yeah, yeah, we could, we could definitely say that's what happened there. A rematch between Carcharodonosaurus and the Dinochirus. Dinochirus looks like it's in better shape, but, ooh, first hit goes to the Carcharodonosaurus. And is that, I mean, you could never really tell. <laughs> Damn, that, that's a tiny tail. Oh no, Taurus was killed. Oh, bless it. Oh, we, we're teleporting around. T-Rex is still surviving. I've barely seen any action from the T-Rex. Oh, it's a victory to the Dinocaris. And this is Indominus Rex taking down the Alamosaurus. That's the one. Baronix taking on the Megaraptor. Now, Baronix killed the last one. And actually, this Megaraptor has just had a fight with Ichthovenator. Baryonyx's own, like, cousin? Oh, God knows what. But uh, it looks like Barry won that one. Indotaurus is chasing down the Camarasaurus. No. Yeah. Oh, there it goes, using its psychic ability it crumples the knees of the Kumarasaurus. Something's about to bite the dust, and it begins with a TYT. Oh no! It's the beautiful modern creature. What's it called? Teth Shadros. That one. This is a fight between Indoraptor and Pyroraptor. Ooh, okay. Well, I can't say I've ever seen a little raptor manage to kill Indoraptor. And yeah, just as I thought, uh, very much dead. Wait, what, what's going on here? What? Did, did you just win? Fight victory. Wait, what did you kill? PNT? Oh, it killed the Zinoceratops. What are you doing? Friendly fire. No, oh, Indoraptor killing the Myasaur. Thank God, at least something's happened there. Oh, and Kylosaur killed by Allosaurus. No, Polacanthus, I think, has just been ended by Indominus Rex. Wow, it really feels like we've got so much more death happening this time. 51 dinosaurs remaining out of like 109, I think it is. We're about to see half of them gone extinct. Indotaurus taking on a Megalosaurus now. And it looks like we've got a Strovenator against Carcharodinosaurus. Is that something that can happen? It's happening and did it win? No, a Strovenator is dead. Now, will Indotaurus even fight this thing? Oh, ooh. Okay, okay, they actually do have a fight. Oh, we got Megalania against Polacanthus. Is that Sauropelda? God knows, that's the one I'm more interested in. Oh, the tail whip, and oh, we killed it, yes! Megalania is, oh, like, <laughs> kill something else. This has been fantastic for Megalania fans, and like myself, it's been beautiful. And look, people, crowds of people cheering on Megalania. Can you hear them? I can, la, la yes. <laughs> 
for this fight. Wow, okay. I didn't even know how that went, but Megalosaurus actually won that one. And we've got Metrocanthus. Oh, Motoborosaurus being killed by Indoraptor. Bloody coward seems to be killing. Oh, T-Rex against Dinochirus. Kind of want Dinochirus to win this one. But I haven't seen T-Rex do many battles at all, so maybe it will win. Oh, T-Rex actually beat it. Dino, have you, how many have you won? I'm very curious. You've lost two battles and won one. Oh, bless. You know what? It, 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 you love a triumph. You love a, an underdog story. And we have a fight between Therizinosaurus and Giga. A rematch from Dominion. And who's going to win this one? Oh, there's slashing claws from the Thera. Although Therizinosaurus... Uh, oh, yeah. Has been hurt. And the Giga does win that one. Oh, I love it. Ooh, something about its head. It's the elongation, it's... A bit creepy, but I kind of like it. Who is killing the patchy cephalosaurus? Damn it, you Indominus Rex buggers. <laughs> you have to pick on the little guy, don't you? Maybe it's clever. Maybe they're deliberately building up their experience, working towards the bigger prey. Who knows? Oh, Ceratosaurus was killed by Indotaurus. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, we have the dead Uteranus here. Dead Carnotaurus. Allosaur against Sukumimus. This matchup, it's normally the Allosaur that wins it. I don't know, maybe its stats are just generally better. And Allosaur does go for the first bite. Damn! Blast! I was hoping it would be Sukumimus, but no. I feel like if anyone's going to win this one, it will be Allosaurus. Um, yeah, it looks like Sukumimus. Yeah, a lot, a lot of scars showing up on there. And Spinosaur comes for the smackdown on the Allosaur! Man! <laughs> if only... If only you could have battles like that. It's a bit of a shame that you have this, he attacks that, and then that attacks that. You can't just have some carnage where a Triceratops runs through and just, like, impales something. Absolutely love that. I love this sort of thing as well, though. Oh, T-Rex against Pentaceratops. But saying that, man, we have Atrociraptor against the freaking Megalania. I need to see it. Oh, it actually goes for the first thing. Yes. Does it kill it right away? Oh, and then a hit from the Atrociraptor. Oh, no. No, its colors are fading. Hold on. How's T-Rex doing? Is T-Rex dead? Where's T-Rex? Oh, T-Rex is running away. Okay, T-Rex lost to the Penaceratops. But this is the battle we really care about. Come on, Megalania. You got this. You went first. You did the first hit, I think. Who won? Is anyone going to win? No. No. No, Megalania. Come back. You have the venom or something. Oh, damn it. Oh, you've, you, you've got him. Poison health loss for five minutes. It's all about the strategy. I like it. Another dinosaur that barely sees any action st <laughs> st and lasted for all of two seconds. Mm. Is the Compsognathus still alive? I don't see any of the tiny little critters, though. I don't see the Microceratus. I don't see Lystrosaurus. I think they might have just been gobbled up, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, Microceratus still lives. But as long as a Velociraptor or something with that kind of animation still exists, they are not safe. And Scorpius Rex against Acrocanthosaurus and gets the poison? Oh, no, it's not looking good. And 43%, that's a solid hit. And another hit, taking them down to 20%. Uh, a battle that really doesn't need to happen here. There is an source against the Tarchia. And, uh, oh, the slash! Some experience for the Therizinosaurus. It takes the scars with it and the experience from that battle. My god, it is absolutely ginormous in comparison to Giga Spinosaur. Indominus Rex taking on the Silichuchus or Silichuchus or something like that. This, this weird thing, which I can't tell is a herbivore or a carnivore, but does get a fight back. Two little scars and then get scared away. And there it is. There's my boy. Yes, you could do this. I believe in you. Ooh, the spotless record Indoraptor against a Carcharodontosaurus. There's still bearing scars of previous losses. I don't even think you have any scars. No, you've been a coward. Oh, oh, there you go. The hit kick jump bounce off combo. And Taurus. Oh, Taurus is not dead. Okay, we'll see how that one goes. We can get two battles in here at once. Ah, oh, shut down from the Carcharodontosaurus. Don't know what these two are doing. Oh, okay, okay. Taurosaur keeps it. Another hit. Maybe it's going to die. It's looking a bit worse for wear. And a hit from the Taurosaur as well. Looks like Indoraptor might have won this, unless they're going to finish it up here. Uh, oh, no, okay, another hit. I'll take that. And a, ooh, it looks like actually maybe the this one definitely went in the favor of the Indoraptor. 
That one, they both kind of... Oh, I love that. It must be like, is it the Indominus Rex animation to put its hands down? Oh, that looks so cool, though. Torso held its own better than the other one did. And oh, we are seeing the final moments of Sukumimus' life flash before its eyes, before its life gets swiftly ended by an Allosaurus's maw. And there it is. Oh, left its neck too open and the crunch down, an instant death. Oh, we have the Baronyx against Dino Kairi's. Can it redeem itself? It's like five times the, the size of Baronyx, but no, Baronyx gets the first hit. It does get a rebound, though. We also have Scorpius Rex against Stegosaurus. Now, and you know, you never know. No, okay. Looks like it's probably going to die there. Oh, no, Dino Kairi's. Oh, I don't know. Baryonyx, you are, you are looking so clean. And actually wins that three losses for Dinocarys. <laughs> Bless it. It does try its best. And Scorpius Rex against Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus on 34% and bleeding for the next five minutes. My boy Megalania against the Utah Raptor. Come on, you got this. No! Oh, is it alive? I think, yep, yep. It's okay. So Megalania, you got it. Yeah, that's right. Knock it down. Knock down the six foot turkey. You got this. A battle in the water. Megalania in its element. It's a lizard. It's a slithery boy. Come on, no! Is it dead? No, it still lives. It's not looking too good, though. Get one more hit in, buddy. Go on, you got this. Go on, round the tree. Round the tree. No, no, it runs away. That's two losses for Megalania, and it just splushes away. Uteraptor wins that one. It's like Camp Cretaceous in that weird little spin-off episode. Tarbosaur, haven't seen it in ages. And Rexy as well. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, don't know what's going on here. Both, both not looking too good. Oh, Tarbosaur loses. Could this be a comeback for Rexy? And Taurosaur against Indotaurus, both not looking too good. Ah, oh, and Taurosaur loses. Okay, that's fine. A win for the regular, and then a win for the mod. I'll take it. Oh, this thing's still... Can anything kill you? I don't even know what you are. <laughs> what even are you? Oh, Indotaurus. Indominus Rex has been absolutely ripped apart by something. Good God. Oh, Velociraptor against Indoraptor. Yep, and that's uh, that's an inch of death for the Velociraptor. I think... A raptor can kill an, an Indominus Rex. There is an animation for it. But if it's on 100%, it, it's going to win. Oh my... Oh, what have we ended with two Spinosaurs, man? The showdown between the two last raptors. Atrociraptor and Utah Raptor. A feathered, paleo-accurate raptor against a, an abomination of... Well, Hollywood. And... Oh, they're, they're mods, so it's hard to tell how this one's going to go. Unless you just randomly drop... Okay, it was a fight. It was a regular fight. A few scars in the Utah Raptor. That's okay. That's good. That's good. Still working it out. Still. Oh, oh, oh. They hit down. Oh, it didn't get grabbed by the neck. That's good. It looks like it's going to be a... Oh, no. Some scars appearing on the Atrociraptor there. It's a bit janky. Oh, the paleness from the Atrociraptor now. It, yeah, Utah Raptor. What that one? Get in. Feathers beat scalies. Indoraptor has not lost a single battle. This will be interesting. 27 dinosaurs remain. Wait, what happened to the Aeonoraptor and the Megaraptor? Where did those guys go? Oh, Acrocanthosaurus killed by the Spinosaurus there. I must have missed that one. Scorpius Rex killed the Solichosaurus. Irritator killed by Scorpius Rex. Okay, Scorpius Rex is getting a lot of kills in here. No, Megalania, you bugger you! Indotaurus killed it. No! He was like, they probably didn't even stand a chance. Two wins, one loss. Oh, forever. We will remember you. Very sad. But if you close your eyes. Emotional balance. Emotional balance. <laughs> oh, is this a Spinosaur versus an Indoraptor? We've got Therizinosaurus just walking along the swamp. Oh, I, I say that. Oh, Giga Spinosaur. Nah. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, Albertosaurus. Oh, just instantly killing Carcharodonosaurus. It's the eyebrows. Menacing looking. An old favorite, Allosaurus, taking on Indoraptor. Now, Indoraptor, I think, maybe has been in one battle. But even then, it was barely a fight. And oh, the hit straight from Indoraptor. You know what? We see Indoraptor get so close to the end. The same with Indominus Rex. But yet, we have not had it win yet. Can this be its time to shine? Allosaurus not even getting a single hit in. Has bloody red eyes. And is it going to be at least one hit? Oh, okay, okay, one hit. Can it get another one in? 
I feel like something's happening behind me. I don't know what. Oh, it's Scorpius Rex against Dinocarus. Here it is again. Is it going to get its fifth loss? Or oh, God knows what. No, oh, another hit. Still not dead, though. <laughs> oh, they, oh, they just sort of settled. Didn't even have a victory there. Come on, get a hit in. Come on, you oversized weird duck-billed platypus. Oh, okay. Just gonna, just gonna take the poison and run away. Cool. Oh, the poison from uh, Megalania is still taking effect on Utahraptor. And it won against the uh, the uh, Trosseraptor. So that's really interesting. Triceratops is still alive. Oh, didn't that lose one? And Taurus, fresh off its victory against a Taurosaur, is now trying to take on Pentaceratops. And um, I don't know. I think that was a, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Go for the, uh, the moose version. And... And not only is it taking a full-on, what do you call it? I don't know, thrust from the horns, but it got denied, and I don't even think it took any damage. <laughs> Damn, Pentaceratops really uh, showing its stuff there against Indotaurus. How are you still alive? How many losses do you have? No, you have more than three. I'm sorry, you have way, and that's more than one skull. Oh, Changesaw, I haven't seen. Oh, Copy is still alive. Yes. Wait, it was down there somewhere. Okay, I don't know. Maybe he's disappeared. God knows. Compy's still alive, and it's lasted longer than a load of the giant carnivores. Uh, Byronix, are you winning that? Oh, I, I, have, I have no idea what happened there. Oh, the Giga and the Therizinosaurus resuming their battle. I don't even know who won it last time. I think it was the Giga won it. Um, also, the Giga went for the first hit. Which I think, yep, it's not going to be an outright victory. There's a lot of close battles in this one. Alasaur just sort of... <laughs> uh, okay, Alasaur, you, you all right there, buddy? It's like learning. I must watch. Learn my foe's attacks and then maybe I can win. Can you get another win for it? That's a lot of victories for this guy. Six victories. Oh, never mind. Maybe you're going to be the winner. At this point, I don't think there's an outright, like, guaranteed victor here. Oh no, Rexy died to Scorpius Rex? What happened there? Okay, Alasaur. <laughs> oh my god, Triceratops. No, oh my god, Triceratops <laughs> making a comeback. Finishing up Alasaur in one hit. That was amazing. You never can tell how these are going to... And Dino Karras finally meets its end to the Indoraptor. Oh, okay. Off it bounces, jiggling its way to victory. Scorpius Rex, I feel like has a lot of kills. Nine victories. That might be the most amount of victories we've had in a single combatant. Oh, Indotaurus trying to, like, win this little victory against an already beat up Therizinosaurus. I kind of want Therizinosaurus to win. No! Just go on, give it a slash. Go on, kill it. Kill it in one. Indotaurus has had some time to uh, heal. I was so hoping. I was so hoping it would just be like, no, shut up. <laughs> That's not fair. But then again, this is the name of the game. Take advantage of everything that you can. And uh, another sl Ooh, I, I think they are both like out of energy. And it, although it is a win for Indotaurus. Oh, I love the saliva there. I don't think it's a win-win for Indotaurus, if you know what I mean. I don't think it was a single winner there. Scorpius Rex against Barry. Okay. I think Baryonyx did go for the initial hit. And another by... Oh, no. The puffer face that is Scorpius Rex showing its scars. It's got one hit against Barry. Can he get another one to secure... Oh, no. Utahraptor killed by Indoraptor. Oh, no. So there's just a Trosseraptor left. Utahraptor did so good, though. It seems so cheap. Damn, Indoraptor. Well, Baryonyx won that one, but now he's going to be losing health for the next five minutes. Though it looked like it definitely did more damage. And unfortunately, I just managed to catch that there. Our feathered beauty, the Utah Raptor, fell victim to the Indoraptor. Doesn't seem fair, really. But we do have two Ceratopsids in the final. Triceratops and Pentaceratops. I don't know. We, we've had one herbivore make it through to the finale so far, and that was Stegosaurus. And we all know what an upset that one was. So could we be seeing Pentaceratops and Triceratops make it in there as well? Spinosaur and Albertosaurus now going at it on the carcass of the Acrocanthus, or sorry, Carcharodonosaurus, that the Albertosaur killed. And Albertosaur gets the first hit off of what? What is this? 
nonsense, I tell you. One bite and just, that was enough for Spinosaur to skedaddle out of there. Wow. Well, I mentioned about a Ceratopsid making it into the finale and Pentaceratops is now taking on Indoraptor. I don't know how this one's going to go. And oh, actually, it would be so cool if it just got impaled. As I like, turned to it and it just went on the horns. A bit like it would have died in Fallen Kingdom. But it does get off the first hit. Can Pentaceratops at least get a hit off? It can do. Okay, so it's holding its own. Interruptor has no venom, has no bleed. So it's gonna have to kill Pentaceratops through brute strength. And gets a second hit off. Uh, Pentaceratops... Yeah, that's done a lot of damage. Interruptor not showing too much, but Penisaurus might get another hit off. And there it goes, another hit. Is Interruptor going to be losing? And yeah, it's about a medium. Yeah, Penisaurus looking the worst one here. Scorpius Rex and Baronix resuming their battle. I think Baronix got the uh, the first hit off there. Scorpius Rex not looking good. This could be the final uh, fight for Scorpius Rex. I'm thinking if Baronix can just finish it, uh, Scorpius, Scorpius Rex really relying on the Venom to do the hard work and it's gonna get away with it again. Changosaurus against Albertosaurus. I don't know. Albertosaurus secured a lot of victories recently and again gets the first hit off. It's the mini T-Rex and it is doing it. It's, it's going, getting the first bite off, but it's just, it dep I mean, wait. How come it just bites once and then they all cower in fear against it? I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Oh, we have Spinosaurus against Scorpius Rex. Did it bite off more than it could do? And it did! Oh, Spinosaurus puts an end to Scorpius Rex's venom rain. Baronix can now breathe a sigh of relief knowing that its rival has now been defeated. And I think the poison is just about... Oh, wait, what? It's went back up. I'm pretty sure it was on a minute before. Oh, maybe that's a revenge venom effect. But Scorpius Rex is out of that. It had so many victories as well. Nine victories and then two losses. And Byronix still feeling the effect of the venom is facing off against Changesaurus. I think we know how this one's gonna go. And Baryonyx unfortunately collapses to the floor. Changesaurus taking a victory. And Atrociraptor unfortunately is going to meet its end at the hands on paws and claws of Indoraptor. Meaning that if Copy is still alive, it survived. Yes, there it is. Yeah, you did it. Unless you've been in a battle, have you? Okay, if, if any dinosaur survives to the end of the battle and it has won a battle, then I will put it through the, to the finale. This way, we stop anything that's just been running around and hasn't killed anything getting through to the finale, which doesn't really feel fair. There is an Asaurus with three wins and three losses and two kills, actually. And the feud continues between Giga and Therizinosaurus. <laughs> and the Giga gets the first fight off again. They took a long hiatus. Both have fought other things. And now the grudge match continues between these two. Tail as old as time. Claws as long as twine. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that face. And again, just as always, Giga beats Therizinosaurus, but has still not put an end to its reign. Wait, I didn't even see this. Not only has Indoraptor killed Pentaceratops, but now it's facing off against Triceratops? Oh no. Now I know Triceratops has killed something. That much we can establish. And oh no, it's not looking good. I mean, it's an Indoraptor. What do we expect here? When did Indotaurus die? Did I miss that? TLC? The hell's TLC? Triceratops, have you killed two things? You ha you've killed Indotaurus and you killed something else. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Ah. And we have a Proceratosaurus against Indoraptor. I wonder who's gonna win. <laughs> and finally, after 15th million time, can Giga put an end to Therizinosaurus? And it does. There we go. Finally puts it out of its misery. You know what? They're tenacious. These long fingered creatures, Dinocaris, Therizinosaurus, they do well. And then you've just got like a little compy just hiding in the grass here. <laughs> All right, Triceratops has decided to change up its opponent. It's no longer taking on Indoraptor, probably because Indoraptor's killing probably that, that other one, Celiophysis. But it's taking on Changesaurus. Changesaurus being a bit of a dark horse here. 
Goes for the first hit. Uh, has done a lot of damage. This could be it. Although I say that every time. And then Triceratops always does get a hit off. Okay. Looked like it kind of dodged out the way rather than then got it. So... Oh, okay. Okay. A little bit of a scuffle on both sides. Uh, Chandrasaur is really not taking any damage from that whatsoever. Triceratops taking the brunt of it, however. And here we go. Two Juggernauts now. Spinosaur against Albertosaurus. Albert against Spino. And who's going to go first? Oh, it's Albertosaurus! Spinosaur taking on a huge amount of damage straight away. I don't know. This could be it. I feel like maybe it's down to Albertosaurus and Indoraptor. I don't think those two um, paths have crossed yet. And uh, oh, damn, the damage from Albertosaurus. Look at that. That is impressive for a dinosaur that, I don't know, it's, it's like a, you know, it's a medium. It's not too big. It's not too small. Kind of like an underdog, I would say. And Giga against Changesaurus. Let's see how this one goes. And the Giga goes first. Oh. Okay, so far, my favorite's Giga, Indo, and what was it? Albert. I think those those three are going to be the finalists. I get the feeling. Uh, Changesaur. I mean, if, if Changesaur's not doing too hot against this guy... I can only imagine the power of it. And look who decides to slither to the plate. Friggin' slimy Indoraptor taking on Spinosaurus and taking the kill away from Albertosaurus. Completely bent its back in there. And oh, ooh, ooh. Now, it depends how this game works. I don't know whether, like, victories are worth more than, uh, like, kills or God knows what. But green oh ooh, evil evil <laughs> i mean it's tactical at the end of the day it waited till it was really weak and then it went for it so i don't know it's it's supposed to be intelligent and there it is showing its intelligence and can the giga put the stopper in a changesaur's life i probably think so oh but it didn't do it right away really you're not you're not gonna do it right away go for another one just one more bite. I think you could probably do it one more bite. Okay, you're going to take a hit first. All right, all right. Then you're going to kill it. Oh, God, look at it, though. It's so dead. Just one more. Just go for it. Just one. Oh, they killed. Oh, really? You could have easily finished that. Okay, they are wanting to put an end to it straight away. Giga coming back. And the Interrupter has not had time to really heal up was up 80% and is oh 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 my god Jesus <laughs> oh okay yeah didn't even get a single hit in and the Giga wins that one damn okay maybe that might have pushed the Giga to the top now with all of that experience that it just got from killing Indoraptor taking its what what do you want if if be level three that's it undisputed nine victories and four kills Changesaur, finally! It has been, I think, 20 minutes of fights going backwards and forwards, but we finally have a kill. Changesaur takes down the final herbivore in the arena, leaving it Changesaur, Giga, and Albertosaurus. Oh, this might be it. An injured Changesaurus against the Giga. Oh, I don't know. If they decide to keep on fighting, possibly, please, it's been eight. Oh, there it is! Changesaur dies! You have no idea. It's been like half an hour. They've been like, one bite, walk away. One bite, walk away. In fact, every battle has been one bite, walk away. And finally, the Giga sets right the world and is almost instantly challenging the Albertosaurus after its victory of killing Changesaurus, taking its victories now to 15. Changesaurus was on six losses. Everything has lost to Giga about five times now. It's, it's ridiculous. And you won 15 times. And now it looks like it's only up to Albertosaur, but Albertosaur has lost every battle it's done against it. And now its infamy level is two. <gasps> oh no. Oh, this could be it. Thank 
god, another 50 minutes later after a second battle. Will they actually finish it? I'm not going to touch anything because I don't want to risk it. Yes! Finally, the Giga kills the Albertosaurus. It was getting to a point, guys, when I was like, should I, should I just, like, declare the Giga the winner and just be like, you know what? There it is. Uh, it was going to happen. It was going to eventually kill him. And finally, 18 victories. And we have our winner. That is the most amount of victories any of our winners has, has attained, I think. The Spinosaur only has 10 victories. The Stego has 8 victories? And then even, what was it, Cheerio has 12 the Giga has been fighting this battle for so long. It fought the Changesaur, it fought the Albertosaur. I'm kind of glad that actually Changesaur didn't win because we've already got one. But finally, Giga has been a new victor. It's been achieved. Yay, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. And finally, now you guys can put in the comments what you want to call uh, the victor. Try not to say what dinosaur it is because, you know, if people are just coming to the video, they'll see the comment and go, oh, so that's who wins. Okay. <laughs> so try and be a little bit secretive about it. But we'll move it into the enclosure. And until next time, maybe we'll do one or two more. And then I want to take all the finalists into like a challenge sort of arena. Maybe we'll do some races. Maybe there'll be like whoever eats the goat wins points. I want to do something more than just, you know, a battle royal. In the end, maybe we can do a battle royal and see who actually wins. Maybe we'll have a winner, but then another dinosaur won because it had more points. I don't know. Leave a comment. Leave a comment comments down below if you've got an idea. Until next time, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. <gasps>